Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have some viewer mail. And this is legit. This is how you send viewer mail. Like, when I get a package like this, I'm just like, Alright, you already have my attention. For one, thanks for the support. Two, going above and beyond just sending a package in the mail is just something I personally appreciate. So, like, getting some sick viewer mail is always awesome, and I really apologize if the band's name is not Rut, and it's some form of saying Rot, but... We have Rut with Morbid Thoughts, and one of just the sickest, like, packages from a viewer I've gotten in a long time. For the Schnell, I just... I appreciate this type of stuff because, like, you obviously give a shit. Hails to Stephen McNeely. I hope I said that right. Otherwise, it's Stephen Mc... McNally? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said that correctly, but look at this. Especially sending over some vile death metal like this as well. Hell yeah, like everything about this. Like, it just makes me stoked to make videos for you good people. Because, like, Steven obviously took his time here. This is his project, and they play some really sick death metal. I mean, the fact that they thanked Exit 13, I was like, whoa! Like, that's awesome. Oh, wait, it was Code 13. I apologize. For some reason, I was like, whoa, they thanked Exit 13? Like, the, the stoner band? But still, I mean, they, they thanked Bunk Dope, Big Daddy Gore, Lividity, Dead Infection, but for some reason I, I swore I, I saw Exit 13, but it's Code 13. But look at that artwork. So good. And like the cassette layout by Steve McNelly. Awesome job, man. Like seriously, awesome job. And uh, he's credited with some bass guitar and songwriting. Jose Marquin on guitars, vocals, and songwriting. So it looks like everybody was involved with the writing process, which is always good. Ernie Pena on drums and songwriting. This was recorded by Mike Mean Streets. It says Mean Streets also played the Waterphone. But, like, hit up uh, Stephen McNelly Art at Stephen M C N E E L Y Art. You will not be disappointed. Stephen, legit, like, kill. Like, I know. Like, that's so awesome. Very on the money, too. And again, this is the type of viewer mail that goes in the folder. And it's something that, you know, I'll hopefully have 20 years from now. So, dear Schnelli Vamatio, I hope this piece of gagging fuel finds you feeling putrid. Here's our new LP, Morbid Thoughts. 
heavily inspired by the old school. I hope it will make you puke with happiness. Vomit bag not included. Content under poverty stricken pressure. Wash ears after each listen. Thanks for me and the guys in rut. Yours dead or alive, Stephen Ropes and Dope. Steve McNelly. Copyright 2024. Like, this is a really, you know, enjoyable full length. Like, I, th I threw it on, like, a couple times, and I was just like, this is really good. And I, I, on I do need more time, like, with it and stuff, but I just wanted to give a little shout out here. Because this is really, really good, and it's a band that... I really didn't hear of until Steve hit me up and said, can I send you this? And I said, yeah, absolutely. But I had no idea it was going to go above and beyond. And I'm talking like in under a week. Right, thank you. And it just goes to show like just having that extra bit of not only talent but just like having that aesthetic and going above and beyond the call of duty enjoy the stench like that's awesome and you have to appreciate it in my opinion if you don't you're an asshole. I'm sorry, but I will never charge anyone in the channel to send me mail or anything like that. That's that's something that would never, ever happen. Now, the patron is going to get gnarlier. And certain videos are going to be just held for like a week until they make regular posting and that's just so we can grow the patreon but this is the way to do it to any band out there if you want to get a label's attention like go above and beyond just your typical like, I'm trying to find, like, a legit, like, like, you know, don't just send, like, a record label this in an envelope with, like, a written band bio on a priority mail. Like, don't, don't. I know it's, it sounds easy. And yeah, you never know. Somebody might actually be like, hey, I wonder what's on this tape. And next thing you know, you're playing some festival in Europe. That, that legitimately could happen. You never know. But let's say you have a badass demo and you know what you have. Like, you know, like, all right. There's something special here. Everyone who's heard it's kind of said the same thing. This is how you, you do it. No shortcuts. You play shows. You pay your goddamn dues. And the music, obviously is the most important part. But also having, like, artwork of this caliber. Hell yeah, boys. Ten tracks of just some nasty, nasty death metal from Rut. Thank you, Steven. Again, just take notice here. This is how you do it. If you want to get 
like legit, like somebody, like extremely rotten productions. And then there's the tape cosmetics, cause this is like self-released, cause it's I think rut, like yeah, rut oh one. So again, if I'm a record label. And a band is sending me a 10-track LP on cassette. With these type of cosmetics, you have, side, you have side bone and you have side flesh. This is going to get your attention more so than the blank, you know, Maxell tape. Unless you're like a black metal or dungeon synth label, then I completely understand if you're gonna choose to listen to this before this. But it's just something to think about. If you are in a band and you are watching this right now and you wanna get your full length out there properly, you can't take shortcuts. And obviously, Rut went all in here. Like, they're pretty lucky Steven's in the band. I don't know if he charged them anything for the artwork, but I like when bands have members do the artwork. I, I'm a terrible artist, but I'm good at making collages. So, like, I'm kind of thinking for the Adabisi Lives promo that we're working on. I might do my own collage, like gore collage. Obviously, I know every band in the world's done it. But like I, I wanna do my own with like I don't know, we'll figure something sick out. But um Yeah, Rut and Steve McNelly. This is so cool. Like the just I, I can tell you you like what you're doing here with this band, and that's awesome. And I, you know, like I said, I do need more time to give a proper review, but I just wanted to go over some viewer mail. March 12th, technically, I filmed this. And, uh, like, some of the songs on here, I like Without a Trace, Morbid Thoughts, Dimes to a Coffin, Street Light Candle Vigil, Flesh Prison, Curse with Vision, Police Raid, Downtrodden, Hammers of Misfortune, and Constant Display of Misery. Some really sick shit here from Rut on Morbid Thoughts. Check it out. And again, before you send out your band's next demo, just remember this video. And just think about maybe going the extra mile or two. Because th this is going to get, you know, attention more so than just being like, oh. You know, but everything about this screams, listen to me. And when I got Steven's letter, I was like, okay, like, this rules. Like, thank you for just putting a smile on my fucking face. And thank you for watching as always, you fucking rule. Thanks for watching. Peace and hails.